Hey, hey, welcome back to Kelly's Garage, Casa de la Kelly's home. We're at home today, it's a mess. Um, but we did get our ARH headers, American Racing headers. We took about three weeks to come in, and here we are. This is gonna try, I'm trying to keep the video kind of short to sum it up, but I think we are gonna end up going and showing you the install process. I've heard it can take up to two days, which is pretty intense for exhaust manifolds. But we'll do the video, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope it helps. Uh, since the car is not tracked anymore, it's not driven on the street anymore, I should say. It's always at the track, as you can tell from all my broken parts and my mishaps and my fast runs here and there. Um, anyway, since it's track only now, finally, we ended up going with the Catless. These are very, very difficult to get. Um, probably going to be one of the last in the country that I know of. Don't mark my words and don't send me hate mail in my comments if I'm wrong. But I know these are very, very difficult to get and it took me quite a while to finally find them and then order them. So you still can find them, you still can buy and get them shipped to your house. But this is the Catless, Catless Mid with the two inch uh, American Racing header manifold. There's the exhaust. Look at that. So there's the, looks like driver's side. And it looks like, if I had to guess, there's probably gonna be some hardware in this box, along with uh, the new two manifold gaskets. So there's that. Uh, as you can see, we have everything laid out. We've got our long tubes with the two inch by three inch primaries. Uh, actually, it's, it's like two inch primaries with a three inch outlet, I think is what they, how that's determined. We have our exhaust clamps here. And then we have, I went ahead and got the O2 extensions. Uh, just for precaution, I don't know if I'll use them. I don't know if I'll need them. But it all came in this box here along with brand new gaskets. Side note, at the track, I was told to take off my cat back. So we, as you know, or if you guys follow, we have the AWE Touring uh, cat back three inch all the way back. Not only does taking or removing the cat back save you weight, but I guess somehow it gives you more power because you're just opening up the header, which you can just pretty much put a turn down and once you put the turn down, it's, it's a free flowing. So, We'll try to get some data on that to see if we can run a faster ET just by taking off the cat back and get back to you with that. Uh, but yeah, this is it. I really love my Screaming Eagle. Can't wait to get him on the car and get it ripping. I think it's gonna sound good. 